You may continue, Honourable Member. Uh, thank you, Chairperson, and good morning, uh, especially the President of the South African Rugby Union and the President of the Western Province Rugby Union and the members of his board that are present here today, and, and also Mr. Williams, wonderful soccer player. I wish you were in the studio on Saturday. The job wasn't finished off properly. And Minister, I'd like to start off by commending, for you, commending you for your stance on Morocco. You can never support a colonizer. I don't see why the DA is surprised that you won't support a colonizer in its bid for the World, World Soccer World Cup. Um, and you must also speak to... And you must also... And you must also speak to Safa to ensure that they don't support Morocco's bid to host the World Cup. But Minister, let's speak about Saturday. So all South Africans watching rugby were given a perfect example Point of, of order, Chair. how your department has failed. Those watching would Point have seen order, Ashwin Willemse, who represented South African rugby Point at the order, highest Chair. level, yeah. okay. and who has what's been the, a TV the, analyst for many years, finally stand up to Point the bullying order, and patronizing attitude. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, just Can I ask a member a question? Seconds. But, but, but what is the, what is the point of order? Can I ask a member a question? No, no. I don't have member, time to person. Sit member. down. Member. What, Shut what, up. What, what, what's the point of order? <laughs> Finally stand up to the bullying and patronizing attitude and continued white arrogance which we see in many of our sporting codes. This is an arrogance born from the fact that today, 24 years, after our first democratic elections, whites continue to dominate South African rugby and other sporting codes at the playing level, but more particularly at coaching, management and administration level. The white boys club that continues to exist in sports like rugby is a continuation of the segregated apartheid sporting codes that maintain white dominance of sport at the professional level. A segregation that the same two presenters who were subtly patronizing Mr. Willemse sanctioned and supported by participating in apartheid national rugby side like those who supported a South African government during the years of apartheid, the very same type of people that played rugby during apartheid. How many of them would have actually played for the Springboks if generation upon generation of black, colored, and Indian South Africans had been given an opportunity to pay. We must not forget that those who played sport at the national level during apartheid were the biggest quota players this country has ever seen, as quota back then was 100% white. But this arrogance we talk of would have been a thing of the past if this department has done what it was meant to do. And while we used to white racism and the arrogance it breeds, the failures of our government to do anything to transform sports in our country are even harder to accept. The lack of will and backbone by the ANC to transform management, administrators and rugby as a whole shows the lack of commitment to transformation this government has. Although we know that the ANC is just scared of white people. The, the EFF is not scared of white people. We fear fuck all, not even white people. This, this lack of commitment is also reflected in our little attention yes, uh, and our few resources the government has given to developing young I remember, just black a, sports just a minute, talent. Just a minute. Uh, I, I think that we should uh, really uh, desist from using a language that is unparliamentary. Uh, so I, I'm going to ask you, Honorable Member, to withdraw the word for call. Okay. Please do that. But not the whole fear for call. For call. Okay. Just, just, just remove the word but then, uh, for call. Okay. Not the phrase, the word for call. But they are connected. The word okay, withdraw. for call. All Thank private you very schools much. and former Model C schools, which many call white schools, have top quality sports facilities. They have well maintained fields, pools, equipment, and qualified coaches. Go to our schools in the townships and the rural areas and all you will see is a dusty piece of land which serves as a field. Yes, right, white people. 
If you want to transform sport in this country, you must tackle the racist culture at the top. But at the grassroots level, you must ensure that all children, regardless of race, have access to quality sporting facilities and equipment. There are examples of this throughout, the East, throughout recent history, from Cuba to China. But our government is useless, incompetent, and scared of white power and white people, and therefore is unwilling to take the necessary steps to transform sports in this country. Minister, you said 2018 will be different. How will it be different from the elitist, classist, and racist infrastructure? Time has expired that has brought about issues like appeared in that Time studio on Saturday. Minister, member. when you deal with sport, as with Time. everything Time else, you must fear nothing. You must not fear white people. Time has expired. Thank you very much, Chairperson. Thank you very much.